Hi, I'm Travis Wirtz, Wirtz Machine Works, and can do a little demo with the surface grinding attachment for a baiter, which will also be very similar for the KMG. The big part of what makes this different is that if you were surface grinding, well, a surface grinder of any sort has been known to throw something off the table. And while using it on my grinder, you'd be in the horizontal position. Well, since you don't get the luxury, then you're going to be in the vertical position. However, being in the vertical position, anything that should, could possibly come off the table is not safe. So, in addition to the attachment, is this adapter. And this is just an arm adapter, and it'll be very similar for the KMG. And what this does is orient the surface grinding attachment down and away from you. So, I'll go ahead and put this in here. And what I'm going to do in this video is, when you, as soon as you take a surface grinding attachment out of the box, what you need to do is face the table. And when you face the table, that brings you perfectly square and parallel, perfectly square and parallel to your work table. And, um, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. And so now I have the arm attached. And So this is a five inch, two and a half inch wide wheel, and this is a baiter wheel. Very good option for surface grinding, and it works well, and it's very cost effective. The first part of the surface grinding attachment, well this is the main for the, your, your in and out. And so, right here is where the, a dial indicator would attach, so I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And this is your slide tension here. So you can actually loosen up your slide to, to free spin for adjustment and then snug it down before you feed and that pre, well, I don't know if preload is a good word, but it provides tension so you don't have the backlash to worry about. So this should go in here and I'll just snug that down. On this part, you'll notice this is not a very doesn't look like something I would manufacture and sell for a handle. Well, that's because the actual handles, there was an error and they got cut off 50% scale. So, anyway, I'm waiting on these and anyway, so a, a lot of people will probably get a bottle opener with their attachment. So, on this attachment, in this slide, is there's a stop here. And that's important, and the stop is incorporated into what will hold the handle on. And this is just kind of a handle. I made a few of these just to kind of get some out there. And anyway, i got to keep this video of a short time. So what we're going to do in this video, though, is these, this surface above the magnets is 90 thousandths, well, 330 seconds, 92 thousandths above the table. That gives you room to face the table down to where the magnets become strong enough and it also gives you the room to face it to where you're absolutely parallel. So now when you go and apply it, put this slide on, you have three rollers here and these three rollers, they're very strong, however if you were to start it and pry it over, you're, you're not going to help anything. So when you do go to put it on, just be careful that you're in line, which is not a big deal. And then it drops against the stop. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my course adjustment. Uh, just somewhere close. But I have plenty of adjustment in my slide. And lock that down. So I'm almost touching. Not quite. Now this is a brand new 100 grit belt. You always want to use good abrasives because you, know, you, get, you get yourself in trouble if you don't. And now this is where the dial indicator mount is. And this is the little stop. This comes... The dial indicator does not come with the attachment, but it's dial indicator ready. This just little shoulder bolt makes it easier to put on. Move that to the side. I have this mount set so if I was using it in the horizontal position, like I prefer, then I could reach from the top or I could rotate it on edge or when used in this position. Finger tight's good there. I'll move this to where it's over the little guy here. And since counter sunk bolts, we can just rotate it to tight 
all that is is something to read. And I might start rushing a little bit because I'm not sure how we are on time. Okay, only at five minutes. If I go over 15, then I can't, I have to edit, and I don't like editing. So with this, I can zero this indicator, or go inches or metric. This indicator is about 130 bucks, and it reads an in individual tenths of thousands. More precise than we need. So I'm a little ways away from my table, as so I'm going to go ahead and get closer. And uh, what I can do is just check my check my depth. We're 725. So I really only need to take off about 10 thousandths. I guess I lied on, or was mistaken on the 90 thousandths, but that's even better. It's less to face off. Your magnets become, start becoming strong enough at about 65 thousandths to 60 thousandths, and that's the range you want to get into, and that leaves plenty of time spacing to clean up the table. So now, since everything's black oxide, I don't need to mark my surface. So, I'll go ahead and fire this on. Now, always, 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 only cut or increase your cut on the going into the belt. Never increase this way because it'll grab and jerk it down. Hence why it's pointed 45 degrees away from it. So I'm going to go and make a, a full pass through here. Just make a little cut. I haven't really begun touching it yet. Barely touching it. Now since I've just started barely skimming the table, I'm going to zero this, and I'm going to take off about 10,000. But I'm going to track my belt over a little bit just so that I can see I need to. To be centered on that table. That's about 3,000, four and a half, 5.6, 6, 7, 7 and a half, getting close to 9, I cleaned up my whole table. I'm just skimming it. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the machine. I'm at eight minutes. And it's only 112 today. Wait for the machine to wind down. incorrect or misangle or anything that is taken care of in this step. So we're totally parallel. And we're around the 60 thousandths and the 60 to 65 thousandths. And this I'm leaving a little bit higher for this actually customer. And um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to track my belt over and back and expose more belt with this 100 grit belt. Now I'm going to go to a 220 then my table's face. moving a stone across, or we're just moving the belt across. Now on this, for any of the vertical grinders this attachment is used for, I highly recommend, when you're using this, I'm going to go ahead and center track that, as I highly recommend 
is putting a bolt in here just while you're using it, just to avoid the chance of being a little overzealous and pulling yourself off the slide. I don't have that here right now, but I would recommend it. And actually, a, a 5 16 coupling nut goes over a quarter inch bolt, and then you can just tighten it up there. That works nice. Now, I'm going to change my belt to a nice 220, and I pretty much pretty much exclusively use 3M. I just like their consistency. I like their product. You know, uh, I'm sure there's others that are out there good. Um, but <laughs> and especially on videos, I find <laughs> saying something's good will get you this. Well, I'm not going to say that another belt is bad. So anyway, but I like 3M. So this is a 220 grit. I'm at 10 minutes, so I'm going to finish this up. Now, difference in abrasive height. So I'm just kissing it now. And I'm going to cut this video real soon. Right, just moving my tracking over. Where are we at? 12? Okay, we're at 11 minutes, so I gotta kill this video. So, that's it. We'll do another video soon.